The only way to lose in the market right now is to buy calls, guys. Yes, calls. A record number of short sellers are waving a wide flag of surrender as a lot of short sellers are now converting to bulls and buying calls. So this is incredible circumstance under which... Okay, a lot of those short sellers that would have made money, a ton of money between now, April 2024, and December 2024, they're literally bailing out on their short positions at the top of the fucking market. Just as everything that we have been talking about in the last 180 videos on this channel is actually becoming a reality. The inflation, higher inflation is a reality. High oil prices is a reality. The inflation that results from higher oil prices and higher oil prices are resulting as a root of uh, political craziness that's going on around in the world. Uh, many instances I've described that you cannot contain political inflation with monetary policy. And yet, you know, the Fed is like scratching their head. Well, shit, we thought we had it under control. No, they've never had the shit under control because it is impossible to control politically driven inflation. Countries used to cooperate together uh, to, you know, be able to operate at economies of scale and comparative advantage where one country makes something cheaper, it resells whatever it's naturally good at producing at a lower cost, resells to another country. Uh, all of that shit is gone. Okay, the, uh, these politics uh, is what's driving the inflation. It is inflation driven. It is politically driven inflation and it cannot be cured. It doesn't matter. You fucking hike the rates, you lower them, you do backflips. The Federal Reserve is fucked. There is nothing it can do about this because this stuff that's going on right now around the world, okay, it cannot be contained by a monetary policy. So it doesn't matter what the fuck does, the, the Fed does. But the market is just grasping the idea that inflation is going higher. And yet, guess what? Another drop, another drop of how many points? 61 points? Shit, for the majority of the day, after the market drop of like 78 points, okay, we uh, basically trade in, in a sideway pattern. Where? Minus 60 points on S&P 500, minus 55, minus 62, but basically rounded up, it's a 60 point fucking artificially held up market. But what I can tell you is that artificially held up markets, they don't fucking last. And this market is going to break. It is going to fucking break. The only way you can lose as a short seller is if you buy fucking calls tomorrow. The only way you can lose as a short seller if you buy calls on the dip because it is not going to be the dip that has been working for uh, like the last five months. Okay, it is going to be a different type of drop that the market forgot that that type of drop, which consists of multi day drops. The market has fucking forgotten what it feels like. The market has very short term memory, okay, about the way the markets would drop in, uh, in many instances over the course of last fucking 20 years. The market doesn't remember. The market doesn't remember right now that it can drop beyond a 60 point move to the downside. Early in some charts, I've showed you this, um, ATR, average true range. It's one of the indicators which tells you uh, basically whether the move expansion is really going to come and play. And ATR has been spiraling to the upside. It looks like the chart of Bitcoin, you know, recently from 30K to 70K, uh, which by the way, in Bitcoin, guys, awesome, awesome shorting opportunities right now between level of uh, 71, 72K. Possibly Bitcoin can retouch 74, but thank God, you, that drop could be lightning fast. You see a 14,000 point drop in a matter of fucking hour, hours, minutes. I mean, we're talking about a, a flash crash the moment. I, I'm just, I can't 
100% pinpoint where we're going to stop out at maybe like 72.3 as far as the move to the upside or whether it's going to continue to like 74. But it's there. It's happening on low volume. Every bounce in crypto has been happening on low volume, which tells you there is less and less market participants that are willing to buy crypto, whether you're talking about Bitcoin, Ethereum, or anything else for that matter, okay, at these levels. There are less and less buyers. Now, it happens at the moment where... The optimism in the crypto world is basically at all-time highs again. I mean, you got a big catalyst that everyone is expecting to take place over the course of the next few weeks. What could go wrong? Well, when so many people cannot see anything go wrong, when so many people are expecting crypto to go higher, well, expect something to go wrong. That is a fact. It just happened recently, guys. But guess what? The market doesn't fucking remember it, okay? With all the ETF craziness, the Bitcoin hits 49,000. And where is it at three days later? It's at fucking 39,000. That's it. I mean, what is that? 25% drop within a few trading days? Well, the market doesn't fucking remember that, okay? It also doesn't remember the drop from 70,000 to 60,000, which happened over the course of like 30 minutes. Not so long ago. We're talking about just a few weeks. The market has short memory. So, and some of the short sellers apparently as well have short memory because it is insane. The number of people that are throwing a white flag right now and are beginning to buy calls at the very fucking top. At the moment when shit is about to fall apart. That also is an indication that short sellers have reached their or their limits. I mean, unless you trade here at 30 market moves. I mean, we've nailed trades this year in 2024 on calls. We've nailed trades on puts. We've we tr The only trade that has not worked... Okay, with the exception of last week when we nailed the spy trade where uh, put options go from two cents to over three bucks, guys, 160 extra. Okay, that trade has not worked. But also, it the fact that it did work just a couple of days ago is pinpointing to the fact that the market is going to roll over, that we're about to catch a ton of spy trades, guys. A ton of spy trades on the put side. They're about to pay out daily. I mean, those weekly options with same day expiration. Okay, the way the market is going to sell off. I mean, those spy puts will pay huge. But you got to know where, when to enter. You got to know when to enter into the trades, right? And certainly, you would be doing way better off. In today's trading session, if you had your account set up to trade futures, because you'd be getting in your position at 8 in the morning before the big drop, instead of getting in at 9.30 in the morning after the big drop has already fucking happened. So with that said, guys, uh, the market is artificially contained to a 60-point move to the downside. And it is becoming so overwhelmingly suspicious to someone who's been trading the markets for almost 20 years now, it is becoming overwhelmingly suspicious that the 60-point range has still yet not broken. But it's going to break, guys. It is going to break. And this is the time to be the short seller. This is the time to not give in. Like, maybe you've been after the spy trade. Like we, the way we have been here at 30 market moves, but maybe you missed the 160 extra payout uh, last week, guys. Don't be discouraged. I mean, this is the moment to push. This is the moment when you're about to get a 50 extra, 100 extra, 160. Guys, I, it wouldn't be a shocker to me if you were to get a 200 X payout on one of these days over the course of the next seven days. It wouldn't surprise me at all. As a matter of fact, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you know we're, we're posting multiple videos about multiple trades that go 50x 100x possibly even 200x so with that said okay this is not the time to buy calls anybody that's going to buy calls they will get fucked okay this is the time to go heavy on puts heavy puts 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 that's what you do the market is at its stop all the charts are rolling over okay the atr indicator is screaming that the big move is going to expand in a way that you've never seen it in your lifetime 
And other indicators are telling us that the move that's about to expand, it is not going to expand to the upside. It's going to expand to the downside. So what better circumstances could you ever wish for as a short seller than to pull the trigger now? Now, I've recorded some messages, some clearly bearish messages since the beginning of the year, guys, going to the very first video we've posted in 2024 telling you it is stagflation. It is high inflation, high oil prices, which translates into higher oil prices for everything. It's politically driven inflation that is going to be unstoppable at the same time as economy is deteriorating. And it's going to be just a matter of time until the fucking government can no longer masquerade the bullshit numbers that they're presenting as far as the job reports concerned. Okay, that show could last maybe another job report, maybe another two. Maybe they can get away with it for another three or four. But after that, what the fuck are they going to do? Okay, it is a checkmate type situation. So if you catch the top of the market right now, I don't care if you're a day trader. I don't care if you're a swing trader. I don't care if you just say, Leo, fuck it. I want to make $10 million. I got a hundred grand right now. What I do? Well, by the end of fucking December, you could be sitting at, at 10 mil. And you don't even have to do nothing. One trade. You can go there on one fucking trade. So if you care to know how to turn 100K to potentially 10 million, we can give you one trade here at 30 Market Moves. Okay, all you got to do is go to 13mmtv.com. Okay, click the orange button. Schedule a call to talk to your senior coach right here. Okay, don't waste any time because a difference of you taking the trade tonight or tomorrow morning okay could be a like humongous as far as the as far as the outcome of your trade because it's all about entries and exits entries and exits guys and so the the put options we're buying today on that trade okay they could double already tomorrow okay so 100 grand today is only worth 50 tomorrow if you are trying to uh, okay explode your returns on this type of trade so basically you know we're going to be up we put 100 candy straight today we're going to be up at 200,000 when when you're coming with 100,000 tomorrow trying to do the same trade okay you're only going to be able to buy basically 50k worth of options at the price that we were buying them today I'm not trying to fucking get anybody confused. Bottom line is just the options are going to be worth more tomorrow and they're going to be worth more the day, the day after and they're going to be worth fucking more next week when the market realizes that this is the point of a break. This is the point of the this is the point where market breaks. We've been preaching about it since the 1st of January 2024. Okay? We've laid out uh, our macro strategy and and why this shit is going to happen. Now, just now, guys, in April, the market is coming to a realization. Well, oh, shit. Well, everything 13 Market Moves been talking about, well, shit, they were spot on. They were spot on on every fucking thing they were talking about. So, and as the market comes to realization, okay, the dominoes will roll. The dominoes will roll over and there's certain sectors that are going to be dropping by 90 fucking percent. There's certain stocks that are going to be dropping by 90 percent between now, April 10th when I'm recording this, and by December uh, 31st, 2024. The market could be slashed by itself. I'm talking about like the index is 50 percent. Nobody see it coming. Nobody fucking see it. They think, oh, well, it's Goldilocks. It's these signs fucking everywhere. This market is going to drop. This market is going to drop in a way that, look, it's going to make COVID crash look like fucking nothing. Okay, and COVID crash, just to give an idea, we go from like, what, 3,200 on S&P down to like 2,250 briefly, 30% drop. Uh, pretty quick, right? A month. Uh even like a few weeks overall. But uh, we're talking about a drop now that could take the market. Imagine just even if we're just to repeat what happened during COVID. With people, I think, well, yeah, but you know, that was COVID. Yeah, right now, the situation is way the fuck worse than it was in COVID. It's just majority of the people are just waking up to it. But the the point is, 
if we were just to have the kind of drop, okay, so we're like 5,200 on S&P. That's where we're trading on S&P 500 futures all fucking day today uh, after the initial drop. And so 30% of that, I mean, what the heck, guys? I mean, that's uh, 1,600 points, I mean, roughly. So take that down to 30 600 3800 i mean around there guys i mean it'd be a 30 35 percent drop possibly put us at 3500 i mean it could begin i mean the dominoes could begin rolling over and yes clearly there's gonna be some stronger stocks in the market it's gonna take them a little longer to roll over but this is the top this is the time to go fucking heavy You've heard me report record a lot of uh, uh, bearish videos, but guys, I've, I don't think I've ever recorded the fucking video where I'm telling you it's time to go heavy, 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 fucking heavy. Okay, there's still people that uh, think uh, the uh, the housing market is strong. I mean, this is how ridiculous these market conditions. Are. There's so many people that are so brainwashed that the market can do nothing wrong, and yet there's so many fucking things that are going wrong around the world. And to think that the market is going to be immune to it, it's just like saying, well, well, hey, we only got a few COVID cases uh, down in L.A. and New York. It ain't, ain't nothing to worry about. And then fucking a week later, well, everyone's worried about it because now you've got these COVID cases uh, you know, in like 20, 30 states. And now we're talking about hundreds of cases. And then we're talking about thousands of cases. It's a contagion. Uh, if we study the contagion, and I'm not talking about the COVID Clearly, I'm not saying there's going to be another COVID. What I'm saying is it's a contagion and COVID is just a good uh, metaphor to explain it. But uh, contagion in 1997, guys, uh, began in uh, where Thailand, right? And then it spread. It spread to all the countries around it. It began in, in Thailand. It, it spread to uh, South Korea, Indonesia, Malaysia. I mean, everybody was in it before you know. Shit, it spreads to Russia before you know. It's fucking, there's one of the biggest collapses in multi billion dollar hedge fund is going belly up in New York. And, you know, they have to, uh, freaking, the Fed has to step in to save it. I mean, that would have been the biggest disaster in the world. You just study the 97, 98, 99. Uh, you know, uh, contagion. Nobody remembers. Now we're saying 99. Oh, well, everybody remembers the technology stocks. Nobody remembers what was happening right fucking before that. 97, 98, long-term capital, right? Nobody remembers that. So the market has very short-term memory. And I'm telling you, when the market is going to crash in the next seven days, which it fucking will, okay, it could crash. You could have a fuck, like everybody will be waking up tomorrow on like April 11th and it's something funny I, I but most of the people don't believe the market can crash in April like people think what well, seasonality is like okay the market can do no wrong in April right but they're wrong because some of the biggest crashes uh talking about the tech crash that was in April fuck I mean um guys Nvidia just broke a meaningful level. Yes, sure, it bounced, but guess what? The level is broken. The charts are broken. Uh, key levels are broken. Bearish divergences are everywhere. And now the market is just waking up, realizing, oh shit, Fed cannot do anything about inflation. Fed isn't a checkmate. Okay, you cannot do anything to cure inflation. The root of which is bullshit politics okay and yes politics is nothing new but the extent at which okay this stuff is going it, it, the things are happening around the world right now it is unprecedented it is absolutely unprecedented and unprecedented stupidity okay is what the market has been you know, it has not, it has not faced the consequences of this unprecedented stupidity that's been happening around the world. Not yet, but it's just waking up. So the rollover begins. You're seeing little pieces of the rollover. Okay, like you know, last week uh, when the market goes in seconds, basically minutes, hundred points lower, uh, like within the blink of an eye. You know. Um, Today, within seconds, 70, 80 points lower, finishes the day, you know, minus 50, 60 points. 
it's happening, guys. It is happening. Uh, I mean, this is a big warning uh, podcast message. I hope you take it seriously. I hope you will wake the fuck up right now, whatever you're doing, and you will get in touch with a third market moves coach. Because if you don't, you will remember. Why, wow, man, Leo recorded this video on April 10th, and he said to go heavy, 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 heavy on fucking puts. He said the only way you can lose if you buy calls. He said, this is the moment, okay? You don't change from a short seller into some bullshit buller, okay? You change, you, you, don't, you don't change your strategy right at the moment when you're about to get paid huge. And this is a message for those of you guys that, you know, followed the channel but missed the 160x payout last week when the market lost fucking 100 points when nobody expected it. It was going higher and higher for the for pretty much, you know, half of the trading session. And then, oh, shit, 100-point drop? What the fuck just happened? Well, what happened was puts that we were buying for two cents went to over three fucking dollars within an hour. That's what fucking happened. So, and I'm telling you, there are more events that will cause the market to move in a wild way when you're looking at the charts like when you're looking at the one day one minute chart oh and you see this uptrend and you see everything is fine and you see everything is just perfect and then it's just like whoa what the fuck just happened so you're gonna be looking at the screen tomorrow and you're gonna be like whoa what the fuck just happened you're gonna be looking at the screen the day after Okay, because some of you, it doesn't matter how many messages we, we post, uh, uh, how many audio messages we record here, 30 Mark Moves. Okay, some of you, you're still going to fucking wake up tomorrow and you're going to buy calls. I mean, this is how ridiculous this is. And you will call 30 Market Moves when you will lose your ass on calls. That's when, <laughs> that's when, I mean, that's when I'm going to be getting a lot of messages. Be like, Leo, hey, will you, oh, man, help me out, man. I, and I lost a couple hundred thousand. I got two grand left in my account. Fucking help me. Yeah. We, why, why should, uh, okay, why should you be so ignorant of this very important message right now? Why should you get to the point where you're going to go buy calls tomorrow and then you're going to be sitting with a big loss? All right. Calls have not been working because the market has not been advancing. So, you know, by the time you pay for the calls, by the time the market dips a little bit, those calls, they're not worth what you paid for them. Okay. So even though the overall move in the market has been higher, okay, it doesn't necessarily mean you've been making money on calls. So now clearly if you're just buying certain stocks and you're sitting on them and you take out of the equation... Uh, the premium on options, that, that's a different story. But, I mean, if you're trading stocks, okay, the most you've ever probably made is, you, okay, you've doubled, tripled the money. I mean, if you bought, you know, a technology stock like NVIDIA, when we recommended for you to buy it at 120 bucks, okay, fine. You're up like 7x, 8x, but that took like two years, uh, okay? How about a 7a, 7x trade tomorrow? How about a potential 30x trade tomorrow without having to wait two fucking years for something to happen? You could you could get it tomorrow. So this is probably going to be my last message, guys, uh, in a while. Because we're going to be busy trading. And honestly, uh, the market's been asleep, so I had some extra time to make some of these videos. But we're going to be busy trading. I mean, I have... I have a very strong level of conviction that the market is going to be moving over the course of the next seven days in such a wild way that, you know, bulls are just, they're going to puke uh, when they're going to see the fucking chart. And it's going to happen so lightning fast and they're going to try to buy the dip. And just when they bought the dip and thought they got a good deal, the market's going to bounce a little bit and it's going to fucking drop by three times the size of the normal move, which is 60 points. So we can get 180 point drop. And by that time, the bulls are going to puke again and it's going to keep happening every time they're going to buy the dip. So this is the warning. Stay away from buying fucking calls. Don't do nothing stupid. Don't buy calls at the top of the fucking market okay and don't be the fucking bitcoin hero oh bitcoin having well for sure it's gonna go higher bullshit 
it's going to drop first and then it's going to go higher. But if Bitcoin is going to drop first and then it's going to go higher, well, what about some other cryptos? They're going to drop by a lot more than Bitcoin yet. You could be shorting right now with 30 Market Moves Coach. Guys, that's free money. Okay, why would you pass on free money? It's going to happen with or without you. The question is, do you fucking want to nail it this time? Do you want to be a part of it? Did you miss the 160x trade last week? Okay, do you still have the balls, okay, to get yourself together, okay, and show up, okay, despite of whether you missed the 160x trade, despite of whether you have a, 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 some blown up accounts, despite of whether you made or lost some money. Do you see the big picture here? Do you see what is in front of you, okay? Some of you do, and, and some of you don't, and that's just the way the world functions, Okay. Some of you will make it huge. Some of you will be set for the rest of your life between now, April 10th. And guys, by the end of the year, the market could be down 50%. 50 fucking percent. 2,600? Holy shit. Nobody can... Don't, like, it's even weird, I mean, to say it, right? We're at 5,200. Leo, by the end of the year, like December 31st, and the market could be 2,600. It could be just a few hundred points above uh, the COVID low. Can can things get that bad that fucking quick? Yes, they can. Just study the history of the markets. And the best time to go short is when the rest of the world is still so highly fucking bullish. But yet you're clearly seeing some signs. Okay, the market is getting the wake up call. It is fucking inflation. It is fucking stagflation because, all right, the, there's a, last week I, rec I I recorded an audio saying, look. The whole thing, how United States consumer is so strong, right? Then why the fuck are all these retail stocks down 30%, 40% within like a day, two days, three days? Like Lulu just can't find a bid now for, for how long? I mean, uh, Alta, I mean, all of these stocks, uh, PVH, I mean, all of these stocks, they're down within such a short amount of time. Uh, it is absolutely mind-blowing. And yet... There's still people go publicly on TV and they're telling you United States consumer is strong while they're fucking unloading millions and billions of dollars of these retail stocks. How can they look at themselves in the fucking mirror? They are selling fucking billions of these holdings. And yet they go on public television and they're telling you, oh, United States consumer is strong. Buy the dip. And then... You go by the dip and they're fucking unloading. They are unloading any any time, you know, somebody buys the dips and some bounces. That's why the bounces don't last because the big money is getting the fuck out. So that's why you should learn how to read the charts. The big money, okay, Elvis has left the building. You're still in the fucking building buying calls. Okay? That is not a good fucking strategy for the rest of 2024. The market will drop. Learn how to make a ton of money when markets drop. Learn how to make a ton of money when crypto drops. Learn how to make a ton of money uh, on the further drop in retail stocks. Yes. Catch the bounce. Short them. Uh, solid stocks. Nice bounce. They're all going to hell. All solar stocks are going to hell. They're not making any money. As a matter of fact, I'd probably say within the top four solar companies, like 50 or 70 percent of that will, 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 will be bankrupt by the end of 2024. And, and I'm just, this is not some, you know, this is serious. Okay. This is not a joke, guys. This is like thing. The magnitude of the drop is going to be absolutely insane. Absolutely fucking insane. So this is probably the last moment you have a chance to buy these put options at deflated uh, valuations, at deflated premiums. Because come a couple more days, those premiums are going to go for the roof. So last warning, guys. Take action. Uh, I want you to make it big in 2024. Uh, the market could be down. As a matter of fact, it, I would say it's a fact. It will be down by, by 30% between now and, and the end of 2024. But it could be down by as much as 
And there's certain stocks and there's certain sectors that could be down by as much as 90%. So I invite you to trade this huge drop. This is the big short. 2024 is the biggest fucking short you'll ever see in your lifetime. So um, there's going to be a moment everybody will be heading out for the exit. And that moment could be beginning tomorrow, April 11th. So I'm recording this on April 10th to give you guys sufficient notice of what could be happening when you open your computer screens tomorrow. So with that said, guys, I wish everyone happy trading tomorrow. But if you're ready to go 10x, we've got a promotion here at 32 Mark Moves right now. 10x your account in 10 trading days. That's how convinced we are that our calculations are fucking bulletproof. That's why you come to 30 Market Moves because we don't follow what everybody else is fucking talking about, okay? We look at our own program, our own system, and that's why we're able to put together 160x trades on occasion. And there could be another one of those tomorrow. I just don't want you guys to miss it. Go to 13mmtv.com, click the big orange button, or click the link below this video, guys. The question you should be asking yourself right now, are you ready to rock? 2024 is here for grabs. The question is, will you take action now? Let's roll.